Chapter 2 The Sun, the Moon and the Earth The Moon's Motions Like the Earth, the Moon also has axial and orbital motions. The Moon, while rotating around itself, revolves around the Earth and the Earth revolves around the Sun. As a result, though the Moon does not revolve around the Sun independently, Indirectly, it makes revolutions around the sun. The time it takes to make one revolution around the earth and one rotation around itself is the same. That is why we constantly see one and the same side of the moon. Think about it. Like sunlight and moonlight, is there anything called the earth light? If yes, where do you think it is found? Answer. Yes, it is found. Earth light is a partial illumination of the dark portion of the moon's surface by light reflected from the Earth's air glow. Geographical Explanation The moon's orbit of the revolution is also elliptical as that of the Earth. Hence, the distance of the moon from the Earth is not the same everywhere along its orbit while revolving. When it is closest to the earth, it is said to be in perigee and when it is at the farthest, the position is called apogee. You have studied the phases of the moon. You know how it waxes from the new moon day to the full moon day and how it wanes from the full moon to the new moon day. See this figure which shows the different phases of the moon. It shows the relative position of the moon on both the quarters, the full moon and the new moon days with respect to the earth and the sun. Think about it. This figure shows the positions of the moon as seen from the space and as seen from the earth. How will you identify which are which? Answer. Half of the moon's portion is illuminated by the sun and the other half remains dark. However, only some part of this illuminated portion of the moon can be seen from the earth. The position of the moon from the earth is as follows. 1. New moon 2. Waxing crescent 3. First quarter 4. Waxing gibbous 5. Full moon 6. Waning gibbous 7. Last quarter 8. Waning crescent we see the phases of the moon in the sky from the earth. They are the illuminated portions of the moon. They become visible due to the sunlight reflected from the moon. While revolving around the earth, the moon is on the opposite side of the sun on a full moon day, whereas on a new moon day, it is positioned between the sun and the earth. On the first and the third quarter days, the moon, the earth and the sun make an angle of 90 degrees. At these positions, we see half the portion of illuminated moon. Hence, in the sky, it appears semicircular in shape. Eclipses The orbital path of the earth and that of the moon are not in the same plane. The moon's revolutionary orbit makes an angle of about 5 degree with that of the earth. As a result, the moon intersects the plane of the earth's orbit twice during one revolution. On each new moon day, the lines joining the earth and the sun and the moon make an angle of zero degree, whereas on each full moon day, this angle is of 180 degree. Even so, the sun, the earth and the moon may not be in one straight line in the same plane on every new moon or full moon day. Hence, eclipses do not occur on each new moon or full moon day. However, sometimes on a new moon day or a full moon day, the three fall in one line and are in the same plane. Eclipses occur on such occasions. Eclipses may be solar or lunar. Solar eclipse If the moon is between the sun and the earth, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. 
At such a time, these three celestial objects are on the same plane and fall in one line. Hence, the place on the earth where the moon's shadow falls experiences a solar eclipse. This shadow is of two types. The central portion of the shadow is darker and the periphery is light. In the area of dark shadow on the earth, the sun becomes completely invisible. This condition is known as total solar eclipse. However, during the same period, at the places where the shadow is lighter, the sun disk appears partially covered. This condition is described as partial solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse is seen in a very limited region of the earth. Sometimes the moon is in apogee position. This means it is at its farthest from the earth. As a result, the deep shadow of the moon is cast in space and does not reach the earth. From a very small region of the earth, only an illuminated edge of the sun disk is seen in the form of a ring. This is called annular eclipse. Annular eclipse is a rare phenomenon. Lunar eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon enters the shadow of the earth while revolving around it. At this time, it is necessary that the earth is between the sun and the moon and all three of them are in the same plane. On a full moon day, the moon's path of revolution passes through the thick shadow of the earth. If the moon is totally hidden within the shadow, we see a total lunar eclipse and if only a part of the moon is in the shadow, we see a partial lunar eclipse. See figure Characteristics of solar eclipse A solar eclipse occurs on a new moon day but not on every new moon day. If and only if the sun, the moon and the earth are in the same plane and fall in one line, the solar eclipses occur. The maximum duration of a total solar eclipse is 7 minutes and 20 seconds, that is 440 seconds. Characteristics of Lunar Eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs on a full moon day, but not on every full moon day. A lunar eclipse occurs if and only if the sun, the moon and the earth are in the same plane and fall in one line. The maximum duration of a total lunar eclipse is 107 minutes. Eclipse, an astronomical event. A solar eclipse or lunar eclipse is just an astronomical event. There is nothing auspicious or inauspicious about these events. It is just a result of the sun, the earth and the moon being in specific positions. There is a lot of curiosity about eclipses because an eclipse is not a regular occurrence. For scientists working in the field of astronomy, Eclipses and particularly total or annular solar eclipses present great opportunities for study. Scientists from all over the world make it a point to visit the locations where such events are going to occur. They carry out elaborate studies of eclipse conditions.